when I went to my first consultation with uh, to speak about how camps could help me and to place me on the waiting list, I had to wait almost six months to get a place and during that time without help it can almost feel like an open door with no floor underneath with, with no floor when you walk through it. You can be standing in that doorway for a long, long time. And I feel like some people when they're waiting for that will just end up stepping through. They would should be getting listened to very like straight away. So if there was any problems they would be able to get help if they needed it and they wouldn't have to wait or be ignored. When you're moved in a placement, sometimes you're moved away from your family, you're moved away from your friends, and that can make you really lonely. You're with people that you didn't know. You get really depressed, and you start getting anxiety issues, and then, and then it leads. It can lead to as far as trying to attempt suicide. I think. I think care experienced people struggle with their mental health more than peers, is because we all know that they're taken into care for care and protection, whether that's from abuse or neglect. Something's happened in their childhood, and they've missed out on what their non-care experienced peers may have over them. I've seen a lot of uh, mental health experts being like talking in jargon that no 15, 16 year old's gonna understand. And they're supposed to help you and you can't understand what they're saying, then how are they gonna be able to help you? They told me because I was too young, they didn't give me treatment. So they gave me a younger, like a book that was called The Big Bag of Worries. And they told me to read that and that it should help and it basically was just telling like expressing your worries and that but it wasn't helping because of the condition that I was in and the medication was just pointless in the end. In my own head I thought I knew what was going on. Nobody ever explained to me what was actually happening and it made it worse because I was this human stuff. I was making up in my own head what was going on and I was blaming myself. I don't know it was like walking on eggshells it was like people didn't want to tell me what was going on and that was making me worse. We've been through a lot because living in the care system is quite hard and just, yeah, worrying. The reviews are supposed to be about us. We should have our point of view. And I've been striving so hard to get my point of view across to people. When we were talking, it was kind of like a conversation where she was trying to get me to answer something for her. It wasn't about me going through that and figuring it out on my own. Me and my cams worker, uh, after the really rocky start that we had, our relationship uh, it's, it's slowly getting better. I think I had an extremely good experience in care. Um, I got to make decisions that were a part of how things would be shaped and how things would be done. Looking back and comparing it to the therapy and the counselling that I've had as an adult, it wasn't person-centred. I don't know, I think I was expecting to go into care and then everything would get a wee bit better because I'd have somebody else fighting in my corner. It didn't feel like that. I felt even more alone just with more adults trying to make decisions for me. Care experienced young people should have an easier way to get the um, support they need. The one thing that I do first is open more support services because there is, there's hardly any and mostly young people are referred to CAMS and the waiting list is huge and if you miss one appointment, that's it. You've got to go right back to the bottom again. Social workers need to try and keep a better eye on what their young people are doing and how they're coping with things and make sure that they're asking them every time they're with them, how are you doing, how's your head? It's, it's three words, how's your head? It's not that hard. A good mental health worker is someone who can almost associate with the problems that the care experience child has been through. Not every experience is the same, but as long as they have a rough idea of what it's like to be in care and be under the stress that some of us go through, it could not definitely give them an edge. Good mental health to me is when I'm with my friends and we're having lots of fun and it feels like I'm just normal for a few hours. Everyone's mind's different. The support that you need is different for everybody. What happens in their childhood will stay with somebody for the rest of their lives. It's, it's a tough road. It's a really tough road. But if you... If you can find the right person that can help you, then I feel like that's a dream you can hold on to. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know that, no one's called glory. <laughs> 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 <laughs>